So welcome to a quick overview of Cubescape, which is a new Kubernetes vulnerability scanner. So here's a hardening guidance report put out by the NSA and CISA. And you can go ahead and read that till your heart's content. Um, bottom line is this defines what they're gonna test against. And in particular, they're gonna run a whole bunch of Cubescape tests and print out a simple, easy to read report on uh, the tests that pass, failed, etc. Uh, so they're going to be testing for things like non-root containers, immutable container file system, privileged containers, etc., etc. So how does it install? Um, it's pretty simple. If you have a Linux machine, go ahead and uh, using the curl command. If you don't have that installed, do yum install curl. Um, go ahead and add that to um, to your installation, and then you'll have the Cubescape command available. Um, then, of course, it goes without saying, you have to deploy a Kubernetes cluster, uh, whether it's in the cloud or on-prem. And then lastly, go ahead and scan the cluster. So for that, we're going to use the kubescape command, tell it to scan, framework, uh, NSA, and then you can, uh, in particular, exclude different namespaces if you so desire. Uh, so by default, um, they suggest using kube system and kube public as namespaces you might exclude. So with that said, let's go ahead and proceed to a demo. So we've already installed Cubescape. And we can go ahead and run that command. And you'll see that it automatically starts scanning the cluster. And then it gives a pretty detailed report of the uh, control name, the failed resources, all the resources, and the percent success. So that concludes this demonstration. Go ahead and try out Cubescape when you get a chance. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video.